Hi, and welcome to this quick demo of Project Notes for After Effects. Project Notes is a quick and easy way to keep notes and also expressions, commands um, that you might need on a regular basis easily stored and accessible from within After Effects. So when you first launch Project Notes, you can um, you know launch it from the window menu and then you are able to dock it anywhere you'd like in your workspace. Uh, once you've done that, it's pretty simple to use. You just have a blank note space. So I can just say, for example, this is note one. And then you can uh, you know, do normal things. So for example, we'll just go ahead and save this. And once I save it, we'll call this note one. And then I say, for example, create a new note. And this will be note two. And we'll save that one as well. Uh, now we can go ahead and see, for example, load. And we'll see that we have are two notes that we just saved in the default project notes note. Um, so like, let's just double click and we can load note one. Pretty awesome and straightforward. You can copy and paste, uh, you know, long notes from other places, a good place to keep your to-do lists. Uh, I don't know any other notes that you might have for a particular job. So let's go ahead and take a look at the preferences here. Um, there's an auto save option. So as you noticed, it was prompting me to save every time. You can just say auto save on and, and it'll just, if you have a, a note, up, um, sorry, a title for the note, it'll just automatically save it. And then there's also this advanced mode. So if we turn that on, you'll see that this command menu becomes highlighted. And this allows you to do what we consider sort of advanced things. Um, so as you can see here, you can run a script, add an expression, or call system. So <clears throat> let's see, for example, real quick here. Um, let's go ahead and just clear. Let's get a new note going here. And we'll try, for example, a simple um, script would be, say, alert and then uh, hi. So this is a simple script command. So you can just go ahead and run this. So you can see here, you just got that script. Of course, you can have it be a more elaborate script. So if it's a little piece of code that you're kind of using over and over, uh, but you don't actually want to run a normal script, you can do it this way. Uh, we can also uh, create a new, uh, let's go ahead and create a new layer here and say, for example, for position. So here we would say, for example, say wiggle uh, 10, 10, so now let's say we, you know, we stored this as a wiggle expression. You know, of course you can go ahead and save this and now it's saved. So now when, you know, when we go ahead and load, you could say, for example, load your wiggle expression. It would just load it. And then I would select position here and under command, I can say add expression. And so you can see it just quickly added that wiggle expression to that property. Now this again would be a way for you to kind of save, you know, regularly use expressions or whatever. So you can just do that there. And then lastly, you, you notice here it's got uh, call system. So call system actually lets you run a, um, you know, a command line command for your particular system. I'm running on Mac here. So a command, for example, would be, um, you know, for example, let's say I wanted to move a particular file. Let's go to the finder here. So I have this test text and I wanted to just copy it into the test uh, folder. So I'll go ahead and just copy and paste the command line for that. So I'll go ahead and create a new um, note again and I'll just go ahead and paste this. So we basically just doing a again a Unix command to move this uh, test text into the uh, test folder. So now here I would just say call system. And if we check back here, you see that it actually moved it into the folder. Of course, this is an example, but you could, for example, let's say, uh, have a command to always move your renders to a server location or, you know, I don't know, whatever other things that you might have um, that you might need to do on a regular basis. So that's it in a cinch project notes. Uh, hope it really helps your workflow or I don't know, maybe stay organized, but uh, we definitely find it very useful. So hope you enjoy it as well.